So that uh, new media and the RTP enhancement that you did, are those just uh, things that you could hook into pre-switch that anybody can use that's open source, or? Um, you can, well, the, the fast RTP thing will work with any software switch, uh, provided that you know which RTP port this call is coming in on, then, you're right, then, then it's able to intercept it. So if you wished, you could use asterisk for call control as well, um, and divert the stuff out. Um, in terms of using it without the RTP thing, we've only at the moment interfaced with free switch. Um, so you, 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 I'm afraid you'd be stuck with free switch, but that's actually a pretty good place to be. Other questions, comments? TDM data wasn't coming onto the you were host processor. Like an MVIP bus or something like the old Yeah, bus? that's right. Okay. Yeah, it so, wasn't. so that bus was actually a TDM bus. Between, yeah. And the DSPs were probably, the not fair comparison <coughs> I'm talking about was you probably didn't even get the delay of 20 milliseconds. You were probably switching each frame one eight thousandth of a second. Yes, absolutely. So in addition to way less processor power, you had way less delay. I have way less, uh, yeah, absolutely yeah. Less, way less it's latency. One of, my, my, yeah. one of my recent problems is trying to move a, a, an application from a dialogic interface card over into free switch, and the first problem I have is this 20 milliseconds of delay is annoying as shit. You know, the whole idea of sampling, because I'm used to a TDM switch mm -hmm. that introduces one eight thousandth of a second of delay. Yeah. So it, it's one eight thousand, no. Uh, yeah, one eighth, of a, one eighth of a millisecond. Basically, you want one eight thousandth of a second. Yes. Um, so it's not really a fair comparison because we actually can't get back to that point unless we actually do it on hardware. Um, not reasonably. I think. Well, it, it, uh, it depends. I think actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, with the old-fashioned you know, CTI hardware in the box, right. if you were just switching a call through it, then you'd have a delay of. Few frames. You've got an elastic buffer <coughs> in the or an elastic buffer on the way in. You've got a bit of a delay through the switching matrix and so on. But you're still looking at a delay on the order of a millisecond. Um, for the final replay and record stuff, um, an Aculab thing packaged it up into four millisecond blocks. So there was some packetization going on, but not as much as you get with. But if you were switching the call, the delay was minuscule. Yes, absolutely. Um, but on, on, on the other hand, 20 millisecond delay isn't really all that long. It is if you introduce echo into a circuit that previously didn't have it. Yeah, I agree. 20 milliseconds is, is, a, is, a, is a magic number for that. Yeah. So while we're